Okay, I'm actually super embarrassed to share this budget report video because we made a lot of money in March and we also spent a lot of money in March and we did not get to the goals that we wanted to this month. So today I'm gonna to share with you our March 2024 budget update. If you're new here, hey, I'm Marissa and here we talk about family finance and how you can budget, save, and make more money for your family. So if that sounds like something interesting to you, scroll down and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos. I also share my personal household budget here on the internet every month. So today I'm doing a budget recap video to show you how our month went for the month of March. And it was not great. So here is a look at our budget template. I will leave a link to this budget template in the description box down below and you can check it out. It's an instant download, works in Excel or Google Sheets, whatever you want to use. Um, and this is what I've been using for a very long time, for many years. So the first thing that we have here is Jacob's income and my income. So Jacob is um, a W-2 employee. He works in marketing and he does work fully remote, which is so nice. And then I own my business here on YouTube and social media. Um, I also do some bookkeeping as well. And so of all my business, I pay myself a salary from each month. And so that's what we have here. Uh, other than that, I'm a stay at home mom with my boys and I basically just work when they are asleep. We have two boys who are almost two and almost four now, which is crazy. And we're also expecting a third baby boy on the way this summer, so. Okay, next we have his other income. We made a lot of income this month because we had a tax refund and we received that refund in the month of March and I had really great plans for this, which if you saw my March budget with me video, then you saw those plans, you'll also see them here, but they did not come to fruition. So this month we actually brought home $14,170.27. That's a lot of money, but here's where we spent it. Here's what we spent it this month. Okay, the first thing that we have here is our expenses. Um, I have our tithe and African New Life blocked out. This is just um, our giving to our church and other organizations with African New Life. We support two children in Rwanda there. Next we have is our mortgage at 2305.60. Then we do live in a neighborhood with an HOA, but we moved into this house in December and we did a new build and something that they did was prepay our HOA for the first year. So we don't have that expense right now. Next we have is natural gas at $71.96 this month. Then we have electric at $91.31. We are living in Phoenix, Arizona. We moved here from Portland, Oregon in December. So I know we're just getting into the hot, month, hot months here. Um, the weather has been wonderful up, up till now, through now it's been like perfect. And so we are trying to be um, very aware of our energy consumption. We do not have solar. We maybe would do it at some point, but we want to get like a full years of data with um, our electric costs before we determine if solar would be a better route for us. But for right now, we are trying to use um, our energy mostly during off-peak hours and then really not use anything during on-peak hour time to reduce that electric cost. And we're trying to get in the habit of that as we are approaching summer. Next we have is trash, which is 22. Each month I had 20, it's actually 22. Then we have water, this month was 95.11. Next we have is internet, it's always $50 each month. Then we have our phones, which was 105. This is cell phones for mine and Jacob's phones. Next we have is ins as insurance, this is car insurance for our 2024 Kia Carnival and 2018 Highlander. Then we have life insurance at $52.89. This is two term life insurance policies that we have on myself and my husband, Jacob. Term life insurance is super affordable. So $52.89 is what we pay each month for that. Next is groceries. We spent $794.75 this month, which is a lot more than our budget of $600. Um, this month, we did actually go out of town. At the beginning of the month, we went to Disneyland, so you'll see some of that in our budget here. But um, I was hopeful that we like wouldn't be spending that much in groceries because we were going to Disneyland. But we actually then had two separate family visits. My parents came down and Jacob's parents came down, and so we bought a little more groceries for the house. So I think that is why we were over on our grocery budget because we had um, people in town for a bit, which is fine, totally fine. But we spent a little bit more. Next week was eating out. We budgeted 150 and we actually spent 129.55. So that's good for eating out to be under. Then we have gas. We 
spent 9352 we filled up each car once um like i said my husband works from home i'm a stay-at-home mom so we don't have a lot of fuel costs there fun we didn't do anything fun this month <laughs> but i am hoping that we can do something this month of april um i am considering buying like a membership to something that we can do as a family some things are just so expensive to go do i know there's many free activities that you can do around phoenix and i'm trying to figure that out and like learn you know what's available and what we can go do um but i was looking at maybe doing like the children's museum um, membership and seeing about that um so we'll see next we have is miscellaneous we budgeted 100 and we actually spent 116.84 so honestly not that bad not that bad Next we have is our Roth IRA. We are maxing out our Roth IRAs this year. The max contribution that we can contribute this year is $7,000 per person. So we are doing this March through December. So 1,400 each month from March through December will max out our 2024 Roth IRAs. So we sent $1,400 to those this month. Next we have is college. We do contribute $100 each month to each of our son's 529 college savings plans. And this is going to increase once we have this third baby. So um, all in all, we spent $7,072.05. We are actually only over in all of our like expenses by $85.18, which isn't which isn't bad. Are you ready for the saving section or should I say the money that we didn't save the way we wanted to? Okay, so the first thing that we have here is our emergency fund. Obviously, we were really hopeful this month. We were planning to put $4,500 to our emergency fund because in February, we finished um, maxing out our 2023 Roth IRAs. So we transferred over the rest of the money necessary to do that and we basically took from our emergency fund to be able to fund that so we have six months over six months of expenses saved in our emergency fund and i was fine bringing that down to like four to five months in order to fund our um 2023 roth IRAs and just catch up basically so the plan was to just refund that emergency fund as soon as we can so we are still working on doing that we are going to do that but this month as you can see we didn't put anything to it and I'll show you where we actually put money because we spent a lot of money in other categories this month. But we did actually earn $113.40 in interest from our high yield savings account. We have a high yield savings account with CIT Bank. I would highly recommend checking them out. If you do not have a high yield savings account, you should totally sign up for one. It is the easiest thing you can do with your money to make extra money every month. This month we've made $113 just by letting our emergency fund sit there in our high yield savings account. So I like CIT Bank because they have some of the highest interest rates around. They have a platinum savings account that earns you 5.05% right now. And that is for balances over $5,000. If you have less than $5,000, they have a savings connect account where you can earn 4.65%, which is still a really high rate. So I would highly recommend checking out CIT Bank. I've been with them for, I think nine months now. Um, even when we sold our house in Portland, I took the proceeds from the sale of our home and I put it in this high yield savings account with CIT Bank. It's FDIC insured. You earn interest every month and it's been wonderful to um, earn extra interest on money that would be sitting there anyway. Obviously this is not for like long-term investments but it's a great place to keep like your emergency fund or any other short-term savings that you have going on. So check that out. I'll leave a link down below where you can find that. Um, we also keep our property taxes there. <clears throat> so we budget 300. We did put 300 into that. We are paying our property taxes out of pocket instead of going through escrow, just because I'd rather put it into my Hyatt savings and earn interest on it rather than have some other institution hold it for me and pay it with escrow. Same thing with property insurance. 6506 is what we save each month to pay for our property insurance. And then taxes. Okay. So I do have some tax money set aside here because I am self-employed. I do pay my own taxes and everything and I make quarterly tax payments. So this month I paid my quarterly tax payments that are due April 15th. So I paid that and so I have a remaining balance here. I do have all this blocked off just for privacy for all of those balances. Um, but yes, I do have tax money set aside here that I then pull from um, to pay for those quarterly tax payments. And I set aside money every month for taxes. Next we have is Jacob. So Jacob gets $150 each month. He spent $261 and then I get $75 and I spent $25. And the only reason why this is different for us is because Jacob's just more of a spender. I would rather save more money and I just don't spend that much. So I don't feel like I need that much money. 
Next we have is extra giving. We budget $50 a month in this category and we didn't spend anything. Next we have is gifts. We put $50 a month into gifts. This is for things like baby shower or like wedding gifts or someone's birthday, like all that kind of stuff. So we spent $60 and 92 cents out of that. Then clothing, we budgeted $50 here. We actually spent $125.16. Jacob got some good shirts from Costco. Honestly, they like look really good. If you're like looking for like men's shirts there, they have like a little pocket. They're super cute. So he got some shirts and then I got a new dress as well. Um, next we have is vacation. So we were initially planning to put 500 into this and I put $1,174.83 to this because we spent $18.53 um, from our, on our vacation this month when we went to Disneyland. So we did have money saved up in this vacation fund um, and I have been saving for a few months, but I also have prepaid for a future vacation kind of thing. We're going to go to Great Wolf Lodge next month. So I had to like prepay for that. So that came out of vacation as well. So anyway, I just wanted to <clears throat> zero this out and I didn't want to have a negative balance here. So I had to put $1,100 to this to, to zero it out. Um, I am going to do like a whole Disney budget recap video coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Next we have is Christmas. I'm not putting anything into this right now. We decided to use our credit card rewards to fund Christmas at the end of the year. So um, that is how we are planning to spend for Christmas. But if you don't have money set aside already, now's a great time to start saving for Christmas. Next we have is medical. We budget $5.33 each month for medical, which um, annually would be our family max out of pocket. So we're paying for all of that out of pocket since I am having a baby this year. Um, we, I will definitely hit my individual max out of pocket, but we may hit that for the family as well. So we're just going to save up all of that. And I've already been paying medical bills for things related to pregnancy and everything. So 965.11 is what we spent this month in medical. So it's nice once you hit the max out of pocket and then you're like, everything else is covered. But up until that point, it's a lot, but it's nice to set aside money for this so that then I feel like I can go to the doctor when I need to or take my kids in and not have to, you know, worry about it. The other thing to mention is that we do have an HSA. We're on a high deductible health plan paired with an HSA, but we don't want to spend the dollars in the HSA. The great thing about the HSA is that it has a triple tax advantage. You put money in after taxes, you can then actually invest those dollars and it can grow tax-free and it can then be spent on qualified medical expenses tax-free. So this is the only type of account that has a triple tax advantage. So we want to take advantage of that. So we're contributing to that and investing it and saving it for long-term. I keep all of my medical receipts so that someday I can withdraw from my HSA with the proof of all of the receipts of medical expenses I have incurred. Um, but for now we are just letting it, letting it grow and invest that. So next we have is dues and subs. We put $50 a month into that. Okay. Car maintenance. You ready? We budgeted 75, which is our normal amount that we put to car maintenance. We ended up putting in 2,200 because we spent over $2,300 on car maintenance things. We did have regular maintenance, like, um, Jacob changed the oil in the cars as well as spark plugs. Um, I'm grateful that my husband's so handy and he does all of that himself. That definitely saves us money, but we had to register our cars. As I said, we moved here to Phoenix from Portland, Oregon, and we hadn't gotten around to registering our cars yet, which is a bummer because our tags were still good in Oregon for um, a while. We just bought a brand new 2024 Kia Carnival in October, and I think those tags were good until like October, 2027. But I just, for my conscience and everything, I, I was just like, let's let, we're just going to register the cars and do everything like we're supposed to. So the way that the registration works in Arizona is so much more expensive than Oregon. In Oregon, it was like every two years and it was like $250 per vehicle. Um, here it's like a registration tax situation. So in Oregon, we pay a lot in income tax. It's one of the highest income tax states. Here in Arizona, it's a lot less in income tax, but there's other taxes sprinkled throughout like sales tax and then 
something like this with registering our cars. So it's based off of the value of your car. So our 2018 Highlander, I think that one cost us like $400. The Carnival was over $1,400 to register. It was insane. So we did a uh, two year registration for each car. Um, and so we won't have to register it for another two years. And at that point, then the cost goes down. So next time I register, it won't be $1,400. It should be significantly less, but that is the bummer of having like a new car <laughs> or a more expensive car. We did save money by purchasing our Kia Carnival in Oregon because Oregon doesn't have sales tax. So we at least didn't pay sales tax on the purchase, but we did have to pay for this registration. So that's why this was so much money, but we were like, we, you know, obviously just need to get this taken care of. So we're going to register our cars. Next we have is house maintenance. This was another one. So we normally put 200 to this. Um, I was really hoping that we were going to be done spending tons of money on house related stuff. I always know like when you move into a new house, there's things that need to be done and we set aside money for that. Um, and then actually I thought we were done. So I took money from that and from the rest of that fund that we had and I put it to our Roth IRAs, which still is fine. I'm glad we funded that. Um, you have until tax day of this year to contribute to 2023's Roth IRA. So we wanted to get that done before tax day. But all that to be said, we put $1,000 into this because we spent $942 on house maintenance, house furnishings, kinds of things. The biggest things that mostly contributed to this were blackout blinds that we just had to get for um, our nursery for the new baby, as well as for our second son's room, for the, his room to be dark. And um, that was not cheap to have blackout blinds, but was needed. We also bought a vacuum mop thing, which is actually pretty cool. It's been helpful. We have like all tile floors. It's like a steam mop vacuum thing. Um, and then we also bought a hot water an instant hot water dispenser tap thing. And honestly, I do love it. I've used it multiple times already. Pregnancy gives me really bad like allergies and like asthma kind of thing. And I kind of just feel like I'm on the verge of being sick all the time, which is a fun pregnancy symptom. It was the same way for my first son, um, but like actually much, much worse. So anyway, I've been drinking lots of like hot water with honey, <laughs> it seems to help. So I used the little instant hot tap and it is wonderful, but wasn't cheap. So those are the main things. And we bought other things like we had to buy new hand towels and some just other like household things. So it was kind of a lot of money for that. Next we have is household. I budgeted a hundred. We actually put 400 into it because we spent $241. I think this is where the towels got taken out of and some other um, household supplies, um, cleaning supplies and things like that to restock. So it was a lot. Then kids, you guys, this was just the month. Okay, we put normally put 250 to their fund. This month we ended up putting a thousand because look, we spent a thousand dollars out of the kids fund. Now there's multiple things that went into this. We bought a new dresser for the nursery. Um, I created a baby registry for this baby just like a few weeks ago, but I'm having a third boy. There's not many things that I need, but we are transforming this room that I'm currently in into the nursery. And so we will need a new crib, a new dresser, like furnishings for the, for the room, for his room, and a few other things. So basically I added some things to the baby registry. And the only reason why I created one is because you get a registry completion coupon of 15% off your registry on like Amazon and Target, which is where I made my registries. And so I just browse my registry. And if anything goes on sale more than 15%, I just buy it because it's a better savings for me to do that now versus wait for the 15% coupon. So I did buy a few things for new baby, as well as pre Peter, my oldest, he is going to pre-K in the fall. And so I've registered him for that. So that was a fee. I also registered him for summer basketball league, which is going to be so cute. And um, yeah, there were just, those were some big um, kid related expenses. <laughs> and then I also had to get them like new pajamas and stuff. So it was, it was just an expensive 
it was an expensive month. Were all of these things needed? No. Were all of the household things needed? No. Car maintenance, yes, that was needed. The household stuff, no, that wasn't truly needed, but we spent a lot of money this month. So here's our zero base budget. Our total out is taking our expenses and our savings, and therefore that matches our income, which means we have our balanced zero base budget, and we spent a lot of money this month. I'm embarrassed. I'm honestly so embarrassed with how much we spent. Um, again, some things were needed, some were not, but I just know that this year I want to fully fund our Roth IRAs. I want to get our emergency fund back up. Fully fund our Roth IRAs. We're contributing like 20% to retirement this year. And besides that, we're going to have a baby. So I want to prepare financially for that and have all of the things that, that we need for that. Again, it's not much because we're having a third boy and we have our snoo bassinet, we have a stroller, we have a car seat, we have like all of the things. It's just a few little things here and there. But I just know that those expenses can definitely add up. Okay, let me also show you our net worth update because that's actually fun. And it was a good, it was a good month for our net worth. So I'll take that. So your net worth is made up of your assets or the things you own minus your liabilities or the things that you owe. So the first thing that we have here in our assets is our total retirement. We are now at $177,000, almost 178, which we had an increase this month of $7,000, which is amazing. Next we have is our house value at about 600,000. I don't know exactly, but I kind of like look at Zillow to see what things have recently sold in our neighborhood because it's a new construction home. Zillow doesn't have an actual value for my house yet. I wonder when that'll happen. But I kind of look at some comps. I'm not a realtor, but I look at some comps around the neighborhood to see what's recently sold and look at like the square footage. And um, anyway, and I even like bring that down a little bit to make this a little more conservative with the estimate. Um, next we have is our emergency fund with CIT Bank, which is at now $23,600. I want to get this up to 30. So that's the goal. I was hoping that this month with having an extra $4,500, we'd be well on our way, but <clears throat> we're going to get back up there. And also 23,000, I'm not like, 23,000 is still a good amount for us to have. Like it doesn't make me uncomfortable to have that much. I want to get it up to 30, but 23 um, is still like a good place for us. Next we have is extra cash in our sinking funds, which is at 5,783. Then we have our HSA, which is at 12,922. And again, that's invested. We have the value of our cars estimated here at 28,300 for our Highlander and our Carnival is at 43,000. So our total assets are things that we own, 891,000. And our only liability is our mortgage on our house, which is at 399. 450. Do you know what's so depressing? Do you know what's so depressing? Is seeing that this only went down $357 with the interest rate that we have of 6.625%. Um, that, that is discouraging. Again, our mortgage payment was $2,300. So nearly 2,000 of that just was straight to interest. And our principal only went down 357. Another great goal that I would love for this year, but I'm not going to stress myself into it, is um, working on paying down our mortgage balance a little bit um, because our interest rate is so high. I'm also hopeful that we will be able to refinance. I know that rates, sounds like the Fed is going to begin lowering rates later on this year, but who knows exactly what will happen. But maybe if in a year rates are at a lower point that makes sense for us to refinance, then great, we will do that. But we also took on a mortgage knowing that we can still cover a $2,300 mortgage payment and we're gonna be just fine. So anyway, our total net worth is now at $492,000. It went up over $11,000 this month. So even though we did not, even though we spent a lot of money this month, on the, our net worth still did pretty, pretty well. So our total house equity with that is over $200,000. So that is our budget wrap up for the month of March. A great income month, a really bad spending month. So 
Let me know how your month was. Did you get your tax refund and how did you spend it? Hopefully you managed it a little bit better than I did. Thanks for sticking around with me even on months that um, are not so great, but let's do a better job next month, okay? We'll do a better job next month. All right, don't forget to check out this budget template with the link down below in the description box. You can find it there. And also check out CIT Bank if you do not have a high yield savings account yet. Definitely check it out and earn yourself some interest on your savings. And with that, I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.